Gel permeation chromatography, or GPC, is a useful technique for the determination of molecular weights of proteins, polymers, and many other nanomaterials. Samples are injected onto a GPC column where typical injector loop volumes are between 50 and 200 microliter. The sample plug is pumped through the column and then out through a series of detectors and finally is either sent to waste or to a fraction collector. The principles of GPC are based entirely on size exclusion. Molecules are separated on the basis of effective hydrodynamic size or volume. This assumes that there are no nonspecific interactions with the stationary phase material. Ideally, molecules are expected to elute in order of size with the largest analytes eluting the soonest and the smallest analytes eluting last. The usefulness of this experiment is often limited by the requirement for upfront calibration of GPC columns with standards of known molecular weight. It is not always possible to obtain a set of molecular weight standards with the same chemistry as the unknown sample. Depending on the exact choice of solvent, it is possible that certain materials might adhere to the stationary phase during elution, delaying their elution, and thus yielding erroneous molecular weight estimates. A more reliable approach is to equip the GPC system with a multi-angle light scattering detector, MALS, enabling accurate molecular weight determinations without the need for column calibration. The GPC column is used to separate analytes by size, and the MALS detector provides absolute molecular weight measurement. A typical GPC MALS experiment using this detector configuration would produce a chromatogram with up to three traces, UV, RI, and light scattering. Multiple types of detectors can be coupled with a GPC system. In addition to MALS, common detector types include RI and viscosity detectors. Note that RI and UV detection are proportional only to concentration, whereas viscosity will be sensitive to both the concentration of solute, but also to hydrodynamic parameters such as shape. UV is often inadequate to detect synthetic polymers, which, in contrast to protein samples, often have minimal UV absorbance. The light scattering trace can be expanded to show static intensity from each angle separately. As with any SLS measurement, using the Zim equation to measure MW requires a double extrapolation. At the limits of both zero concentration and zero angle, the scattered intensity depends only on the absolute molecular weight of the sample. In a MALS experiment, the light scattering trace is actually made up of a continuum of angle-dependent measurements. Each point in the chromatogram corresponds to a different instantaneous concentration. Thus, a single measurement provides all the information necessary to calculate an absolute molecular weight. Brookhaven's MWA can acquire the analog output from a variety of detectors that may already be part of an existing GPC system to provide additional detection capabilities, such as viscosity, UV, and RI. This data can be read into the Brookhaven Instruments Size Exclusion Chromatography Acquisition Software, Parsec, to produce a unified chromatogram.